So it is January 1st, 2016, and we are hiking on the Lapahal River. My buddy Jason back there behind me. What's up? And uh, we're just trying to get past the point where we know a lot of people are and uh, find some seclusion pretty much. The woods are soaked, but it's fun. So, yeah. So, this is our company for the trip. Um, they were up at the landing, and there's a few more around here somewhere. Uh, as you can see, over here is Daddy, hiding up in the bushes, looking at the river, all majestic and such. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we've hiked probably, what, what do you think, about a half mile? About. And they're still following us. And, uh, yeah, they're not going to leave us alone, I don't think. These dogs are strays. Somebody just turned these dogs out and left them out here at the river. They seem to be in reasonably good health, but uh, I can't do anything for them other than share my food with them tonight. You can see they're very friendly. It's kind of sad. Stay down. Down. No, down. Sit. And they listen very well. Sit. We can't get rid of them. They won't stop yeah. following us. Good. Okay, so we uh, encountered a little oxbow or slough, and uh, <clears throat> we're trying to cross to get up to higher ground. And I've already made my cross, and Jason's doing his now. You're a liar. It was a lot deeper than I thought it was. My pack is soaked. I think he's going to be better off than I was, but. Uh, yeah. Where did you cross that? Right here? Just about in that area. Okay. So, I went out to dry out my sleeping bag and everything before we camped tonight. But he has a wool blanket, so even if he does get wet, he's still going to be warm. It's cold, but not as cold as you would expect. As you can see, it's a lot deeper than we thought it would be. Okay, you got it? That happened to me too. Trying to breathe. Yeah. That's head deep, dude. <laughs> it wasn't that deep. I thought it would be about the same depth. I mean, it's not but five foot difference from where we crossed at. Are you all right? Call on the tree. Okay. Um. Come on, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. I thought it was nice to get in there. All right. So. Yeah. You don't. You better not miss. I played football. So, here we are. This sucks. So Almost bad. made it. <laughs> on this tree too. Well, why did you cross it? You could have went right around it right there. Where? So. Ah. Okay. Um. Only the all right. We, we made it, and uh, just a little bit of his corner of his sleeping bag, not the whole bottom half, as he suggested, is wet. Oh, the whole bottom half wet. Just a little corner. Oh, okay. And uh. We made it across and back on the hike, and yeah, my gun's pouring water up. Good, good times. Yeah, I heard my pack when it when I come out. It was just like it sounded like somebody dumping a bucket out. <laughs> it did. Okay, hey. Well. Yeah, that that synthetic sleeping bag. It's a good thing it's not down. Yeah, can't be screwed. Yeah. Completely. The bad part was all this choking. So, yeah, I will catch back up with you later. And the dogs follow us across, of course. We can't get rid of them. So, we got caught. Um, we're heading back out. The dude told us to head out. So, we're going to do as we were instructed. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know if we're still going to stay out tonight just somewhere else or what. But we were instructed to leave this land, and we are. So, um yeah. Uh, Jason was, uh, we had just come out of the slough and we're getting our, dang, that's a long road. Excuse me. Getting our, or he was getting his, anyway, and we heard this engine and I'm like, get your stuff. But it just didn't happen in time. So, the walk of shame. 